Hello everyone, I'm back in my studios with a brand new thing on this channel. And today we are doing a game jam. So what exactly is a game jam? A game jam is a game development challenge in which we have a certain amount of time to make a game. You know what? Come here, come, let me show it to you. And let me show you what exactly the game jam will be that we are working on. It will be the mini game jam 128th on itch.io with the certain theme of health. And a limitation which will be the only way to go is up. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really have an idea what to do. I think about a game like maybe Jump King, you know, Jump King where you go like, you know. But yeah, you will see, so let's go to the drawing board. Alright, we're here now at the drawing board and I think I managed to come up with a pretty good game idea. Ahem, because games in Marvin took way too long to explain this, I will do this now, okay? We are going to make a roguelike, like for example the Binding of Isaac, in which our player character is ill and he has to go up a tower to get a cure for his disease. This is the health aspect of the game. And these here are going to be the enemies which I want to have. Some shooting enemies, flying enemies, some melee attacking enemies and a few items. Yeah, that's it. I have now programmed this super simple player movement script and gave it to this super hot oh, player I created in Unity. Here's the script, do with it what you want, don't judge me. The next thing we will have to do is to create the attacks for our player because without them he is pretty boring. So let's get started on that. For the grand reveal you can see we have our character here and he also has an attack which looks like... It, it took me almost three hours to do this, man. Okay, not only to do this, but also to do this, okay? Okay, anyways, as you can see, our player coughs, he has a cough attack because as said before, he is ill. And with this cough attack, we will give them enemy straight up 2022 flashbacks like it's Corona all over again. Okay, now the next thing for me to do is to design the enemies, so bear with me. Just a normal skeleton who will attack you by running after you and touching you. With this being our first enemy, our second enemy will be the flying enemy. So let me show you how I want him to look like. This enemy will have the attack pattern of targeting the player. He will fly towards him and then sweep in and try to attack the player from above. I know, I know it looks a bit strange, but I want him to be a kind of golem head on a skateboard. And he will shoot like laser beams, he will charge them and then like pew pew pew. And he will be very agile, when the player walks towards him he can charge up a dash and then dash away from the player and then shoot him from the distance. I don't know exactly what happened, okay? I, I just went for grabbing food at McDonald's, I came back, it's now 10 p.m. After I managed to crawl back to my game, I finally started on modeling some 3D models for the game. And I definitely decided to make a voxel style game because it's way easier to model these 3D models and thus perfectly suited for a game jam and not because my 3D modeling skills are shit. <laughs> Day 2 baby, let's go, let's get started! After working up, I added all these models to Unity. It's been a while since I made a few boxes for D models, I mean... Look at this dude! And now what's left to do is to program them, because as you can see, I think they are pretty dull. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Ah! Why won't you die? If you're a fan of the skeleton in Minecraft, just have a look at mine, man. Look at him, he's just like... And then... Uh, power! It's power! Oh. The group is basically just... I'm the biggest bird! I'm the biggest bird! He can fly towards the player and when he's about to die, he will make a... Sweeping attack on him, he will swoop by uh, try to hit him. And the rumor, he's a busy with his basic case, he like used to... Like the rumor, you know? That's why he's got... Rumor. And while he's doing that, he will shoot the player with these crystals which he has on his like little horns, you know. Alright, let's have a look what else to do. And he 
Here we have the boss room, the normal room and the treasure room in which each floor's item will spawn. And another thing I have implemented so far is the orientation and spawning of the doors of the rooms because as you can see right now there are no doors but this will change when I start the scene because now every room will detect if a certain kind of room is next to it and then decide to spawn a certain door. And also if I walk into a room in which enemies are I cannot walk out of that room until the enemies of that room got defeated. And with that being finally done the next step for me is to design every other room out of which the whole dungeon will be generated out of. So let's start the super fast build mode. Okay, okay, we are done. I have created 20 different rooms for our dungeon and I think this should be enough for now because my game isn't too long. So 20 different rooms which will generate in the dungeon will be enough, I think. All right, it's getting kind of late. I managed to do a lot of things I wanted to do today. So it's time for me to hit the bed and start refresh tomorrow. So see you there. Oh. Dungeon, dungeon now. After countless attempts, I finally created my dungeon spawning algorithm, so let me show it to you. If I press play, a whole dungeon should be generated. And as you can see here, it worked quite nicely. Here's the boss room, somewhere should be the gold room, I think. Here it is, but without the item yet. And of course, we can walk through the dungeon and defeat all the enemies that have spawned in it. More oh, goddammit, man. And as you can see, it's quite hard to keep track of how many times you got hit. And because that is so hard, I think this should be the next step for me to tackle. And by tackle, I mean just to copy and paste my whole UI system from my tutorial into this game. Item 3 Animating Boss Holding Boss 1 Holding Boss 2 Holding Boss 3 Finish! There's no time left, so let's quickly throw together some UI elements, sprinkle in some sound effects, and let's publish this! What? No. No! 